Hey guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to another video of 7 Days to Die Alpha 18. How are we doing? I hope you're well. Look, well, look what we got here. It is day 14, it is Horde Night, and we are almost out of time before I jump into this one here. I'm just going to quickly do a couple of things real quick just before we get underway. I need to get this off my, my thing. Come on, come on. And let's complete that. Let's get out of that, into that. I'm sorry guys, this is going to be a bit of a stretch for me because we are about to hit the horde. I'm hoping my base is already set to go and if not then hey, um, I'm going to fall over here. But I'm hoping, oh no, 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 I did not want to do that. I did not want to do that. No, 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 no. Oh my god. See, this is what happens when, you, when you're under pressure here. Um, yeah, you, you definitely cop it. Alright, so... Um, Horde Knight, it is happening, it is happening. We are on it. Um, as you can see, I have just got myself uh, a couple of mods here. And we are... Oh, no, 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 no. Um, I just want to start getting these guys uh, destroyed here right at the minute. If I can, if I can get to him. I don't think I can get to the dog here. Yes, I can. Um, put them all here. They're all just running at this door now. They're going to demolish the door. There's no use of buts about this. If I can just sort of, you know, factor... Here we go. Okay, as you can see, I'm absolutely getting destroyed here at the moment. And I've got this crawler that's coming in. I don't know why you're doing that for. But yeah, this is completely underprepared by my, my part here. Um, I'm trying my best here to try and make sure that I am going to survive. If I'm not going to survive, I will... Oh, they've already broken this part. Oh my god, I'm going to have to bail in sometime soon since I'm not going to work out. Are you serious? Oh my god, are you serious? This is not good. This is not good whatsoever. Um, get out of here. Okay. As you can see, um, I wasn't able to get all of um, everything reinforced and upgraded. So this is why you're seeing these guys are sort of breaking through this quite easily. And she's broken in. Oh no, this is it. <laughs> die. Die. Come on. As soon as they break that, that's it. I'm going to bail because I've got no... Uh, further defenses here. I didn't sort of leave myself any other marginal room for error. I was kind of hoping that I would have a little bit more time to play with, but what had happened was I was finessing with this base for so long and basically I just wasn't able to get um, a lot of enough cobblestone in time. As you can see, the cobblestone is getting um, crafted as we speak. Oh my god. Um, so yeah, so this is basically where we're at at the moment. So probably day 21 might be the time that I might have a, um, a decent um, prepared base. But right now, um, yeah, it's not happening. And I'm trying my best to kill these guys. And this is not working out. I'm doing a really good job of this at the moment. Um, they're, not, they're not falling into the pit. So I'm going to try and rag all these guys into the pit. But it's not happening. As you can see... Oh man, I can't believe I didn't have enough time to prepare. I thought I did. This dog is going to maul me. Definitely not. Okay, thank God for that. Thank God for that. Alright, and these guys here. Hey, come back here. Where are you? Come on. There you are. I didn't even have enough time to go into the menu and um, craft some more flagstone blocks just so I can have a bit more defense here, it's, yeah, but I'm going to try my best, I'm trying my best, as you can see, we're only nearly an hour game stage into this horde night, and I'm sort of holding up okay, but I don't think that this is going to be a, a fruitful horde base, because as soon as that breaks, I'm out of there, I need to get out of there, because these guys are just going to keep running, and I'm just going in and out, in and out here, as you can see, and hopefully, this would be enough, but I don't see that being a proposition that's going to last that long. <laughs> the best thing I can think of right now is that I'm, do I'm getting some XP. I'm getting a bit of XP here at the moment, so which is okay. So that I'm thankful for, but other than that, let's just go for a power attack here. I 
think I should just do that. As soon as it sort of clusters up, I, just, I think I should just hit the old power attack here. And get rid of this dog before he... Hey! Get! Get! Get away from me, fighter. There we go. Bah. Look at this. Alright, no. I didn't want that to happen. Come on. It's power attack. They're going to break that. They're going to break that. I am out of st stamina here. Yeah, I'm out. I'm bailing. I'm bailing. Come on, come on, come on. Make it, buddy. Oh man, I'm gonna run out of stamina. I'm gonna die. Oh, come on. You can do it. <laughs> you just made it. Oh, are you serious? I'm so lucky. <laughs> okay, now. Let's um let's take two seconds to sort of um calm down for just that minute there. So as you saw. I had my horde base. Um, my horde base technically didn't fall. I was about to die, as you can see there. And I don't know what's up with you, but you're just um, doing whatever you want, want to do. And I am a terrible shot, as you can see here. Uh, let's just go back to the um, to the pistol here. I think I can get better shots with the pistol rather than the SMG. So my thought process with this Horde Knight was essentially to um, uh, pretty much have everything at least upgraded to cobblestone bricking from flagstone and I was going to upgrade the doors so at least the doors are going to have a little bit more um, hit work, uh, and durability behind it but yeah that didn't really happen so what had happened was um, I ran out of time that's, that's all. and there wasn't really much I can do based on that and now that we um, I was about to die. I was pretty much fortunate enough to have this horde base here, which was my original horde base back in um, the the original day seven horde. And now that I've got this to fall back on, it's actually been well, it's going to be a, a pr pretty much a successful horde night from a survival point of view. From a horde base point of view, I've got a bit of work to do. I reckon I'm going to be okay for day 21 when that comes around. The base, the the integral, uh, the integral instru uh, sorry, structure of that base is there. The foundation is there. What I need is reinforced um, resources so I can have that base a lot more um, solidified. And that's basically where it's at. If I don't have that solidified, then that's when things like this are going to happen. And um, we're going to have a situation in the horde now where I'm not going to, you know, survive. But um, another thing I sort of wanted to touch on as well while I'm sort of trying to wail on these guys here when they're just sort of, you know, running around in their confused state is, oh, nice, you dropped a bag. Thank you very much, sir. I'll grab you later on. Um, I hate these frames. Oh, no. We've got some. Um, oh, where, where, where did you get out of there? Um,. I think I've got some painkillers. Let's just quickly get some painkillers here. Um, is there any more birds? I forgot about the birds. It's all well and good having this base up here, but it's not going to um, save you from things like birds. And when they're when they're on it, they're on it. Um, but yeah, as you would have seen real quickly in my frantic attempt to try and get back to the board base was I had a baseball bat and I wanted to use the baseball bat for this horde night and what had happened was before I actually started the horde night there was a roaming horde a mini horde so I thought you know what I'll use the the baseball bat I'll jump I'll throw on the flaming skill mod and see how we sort of um, handle uh, zombies that way and to my surprise it didn't do as well as the um, as the the reinforced club did, which is quite surprising because what it is, the um, the baseball bat is a lot stronger in terms of attack as opposed to the reinforced club. So I need to do a little bit more research into why that is. I'm guessing it's because that the baseball bat is a two-handed weapon technically, whereas the reinforced club is a single-handed weapon. So me specking into think to the PvP tree works for that um, for the reinforced club, but it doesn't work for the baseball bat 
for whatever reason that might be, which I feel that is the case. I need to do some research um, into that just to see if that is true. If it's true, then I need to sort of rework what I need to do in terms of um, the skill tree. So, yeah, that's basically where I'm at at the moment. That's why I sort of frantically went back and got my, um, my Reinforced Club. And thank God that I did, because if I didn't have that, I don't think the base would have survived as long as it did over there. So, um, that's pretty much it. But what I'm going to do is, once this horde is done, I'll go back to the base, and I'll show you exactly where I, uh, what I did and where I got up to, and we'll quickly assess the damage while we're there. So... Um, at least you guys get to take a bit of a look because I didn't get to actually show you that in the previous video when I was building the base. Like I said, I was just in a um, in a time crunch. And I thought, you know, having two full, uh, you know, one full day plus uh, the day of day fourteen to have, so I can actually um, whoop, I'm out of ammo here um, to do what I need to do. Am I out of that as well? I'm out of both weapons. Oh, joy. Okay. Um, well, I've got this, maybe, will this sort of work out for me? How about if I just drop it there? Alright, oh, look at that. At least I get the EXP for it. I'll let these guys run and do what they need to do in, you know, sort of semi-circles here. And, um, yeah, while that happens, I might just have some food, get some health regenerated pack up, and hopefully there's some more zombies that will just, you know, come this way. And the turret here will be able to do its job here for me. And just keep getting to that XP. And here comes a little puppy here. The only problem is that he's not going to go over where my turret is. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so that's not going to happen. So he's still going to be um, around there. I don't even have any... Um, I don't have any arrows, I don't have any feathers or anything like that that I'm going to have the ability to uh, tackle the dog here. And we've got these guys here going to be a bit of a pain. And that's where it is going to run out of juice anytime soon because it only had 50, um, <coughs> excuse me, um, junk turret armor. So that's not going to happen. And I think he's already out. There he is. So he's done. So I've just got these guys here, and they're just mucking about doing their thing. Probably what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to get them to come around this way. I'll guide them into this area here, and hopefully um, they'll just take the... Um, there we go. There's still spikes on, and they'll die on that, because that's all I can do. But wh while that is happening, what I wanted to show you was this. So here we go. So I've got the Iron Reinforced Club. Now, if I hit the modified tab here, I do have one more slot that I can add for a modifier, and hopefully that should take me near to um, 30 melee damage and over 44 power attack. But let's um, go ahead and complete that and go back to the baseball bat. Baseball bat, off the bat, no pun intended, is only 28 without any mods, and that's a level 1, and that's 54 on the power attack. So, you'd think, yes, that's going to be a lot better in terms of, um, you know, attack and um, and defense and things like that. These guys are just coming all over the place now. I reckon they're going to they're gonna break their way into the base. But anyway, this is what I was sort of um, looking at here. And I, th I figured, well, if that's the case, then why won't, why wouldn't the, the baseball bat be a better um, weapon of choice? So, <coughs> what I'm thinking is, are they breaking that over there? There's someone in there and they're breaking... Oh my god, are, are you serious right now? They're breaking that part of the base. So I'm going to have to fix that part up, which is not too bad. Like I said, everything is there. Um, yeah, I figured that the the baseball bat would be the go. That would be the, the, the weapon that I would choose to go ahead with. And the fact that it isn't, um, at the moment, until I sort of work out what the hell is going on with it, I think that's that's it. I think there's just that one lonely um, zombie in there. And I think we've already cleared out the um, uh, the zombie horde. Seriously. Are you, are you joking? I can hear someone. I can hear someone. I can definitely hear someone. Ah. Yeah. They, bro they broke through that. So, I don't know where you ran off to. 
Um, I'm just doing a full perimeter sweep of the base here. Oh, I forgot to actually um, add that little corner section there. Well, there you go. Well, I don't know what, what happened to you really, but um, yeah, if I go into my um, my tree here. So let's go to strength. Now, I'm three out of five into Pummel Pete. Pete, sorry. Um, you would think that I would have, um, so basically clubs and bats. That's what I'm thinking that should have happened with the utilizing the, the baseball bat, but I don't know. So, so you can, I, if I get up to stay down, I can craft my own clubs. Um, bats, I'm not too sure if I can craft quality bats just yet. Um, I'm just sort of quickly reading this as we can, as we sort of, um, you know, wait the time over. I think it should be nearly 2 a.m. as it is anyway, so. Um, no, it doesn't really say anything. Skull Crusher, these are just he heavy weapons like sledgehammers and things like that. If I go into the, I think it's the agility, fury of blows, I didn't actually spec into this. Um, and this is the other, yeah, this is the other thing. So specializing one-handed melee weapons, fury of blows will be good and that will help with the reinforced club because it is a, um, uh, one uh, weapon as opposed to the club which is two so I'm not too sure what to make of that right now let me know in the comments guys what um, your um, impressions on that and if it's something that I need to sort of look on a little bit um, further as to how to um, get the most out of the baseball bat am I going down the right path have I sort of skewed off let me know because I'll be interested to hear what you guys have to say about that. Right now, as you can see, I've got two books vo uh, volumes out of batter up anyway. So I do have the ability to craft my own baseball bat. So if I can do, if I can actually create a better baseball bat, then hell yeah, I will get that done. And I'll see how that sort of works out um, in the long run. I've got my own baseball bat now. So if I scrap it, I don't know if I'm going to have enough parts to craft my own. That I'm not too sure of yet. Um, the other big one is I've got four out of the seven of Lucky Looter, so we are making good progress on that. And I am down the, um, further down the, um, uh, the tree of Lucky Looter, so if I quickly go ahead and find that, four out of five. You know, I need to get to Perception 7, which I'm two off, but from here on out, I need to invest in four points, then I can invest in, um, the Lucky Looter, so I need an extra five points to get me the full Lucky Looter tree. Now, I don't know if I've gone through that too quickly or if I should have invested my points into other attributes here, um, but that's what I've gone with. And this is my first proper go at it, just sort of getting the right build and things like that, um, you know, happening. So, yeah, there's only so much that I can sort of do with that. So, like, like I said, I'm gonna lean on to you guys for some, I got nothing out of that, are you serious? Um, I want to lead on to you guys for uh, your wisdom and expertise, you know, on how this sort of happens. If I'm doing the right thing, if I'm not, then yeah, please tell me so I could actually improve on that. Anyway, now that we've dealt with the horde there, um, like I said, I thought I did okay um, and up until the point that I was about to die, of course, and um, and it was just basically a waiting game until the um, this pole here was going to break. So, ooh, they actually dug down. Oh, you, you sneaky little buggers. Because I actually made this out of cobblestone so they didn't actually get into this side here. But they ended up coming down over this way and, break, and broke down this part of the, um, uh, the, my little part of the wall here. Which is probably my fault because I should have strengthened this a little bit better. Um, but I didn't, so this is where I sort of need to go ahead and improve on. But the idea was, and it sort of worked, but they ended up jumping out of this, so I'm thinking maybe I'll just fill out the one row of uh, metal spikes and then call it a day, maybe, and um, and then sort of leave it like that. But the theory was using the bat and using the power attack so they could ragdoll into the pit here, and then they would either die or have a hard time trying to get out of the, um, the pit that I had set up here. So that was my... Um, my thought process about that and they managed to break through one two three four um basically uh the flagstone pillars here and yeah and now that they've sort of broken this out on me thank you very much 
um, I'm gonna have to sort of fix this up but this is really good this is this is a good lesson to learn to sort of get my understanding on how this base will work and run and operate later on I did leave this open here just so I can sort of um, you know have a little bit of light coming through but I might start fitting out um, this area here with possibly lanterns because I think I can actually um, do the lantern itself so where's the um, helped if I can actually spell the, uh, the word lantern properly yes I can so I can craft my own lanterns the forge iron the oil um, wouldn't be a problem electrical tape duct tape not a problem so by the time uh, day 21 horde rolls around a I should have the spec done for the base so I can have a um, an upgraded base cobblestone possibly even cement um, better that might be the best way to sort of go ahead and do that get it all up to cement and if I can possibly reinforce cement or concrete um, would be the right term of saying it but basically my idea with all this uh, with this whole basin setup was to sort of let them run around the inner side inner sanctum here and for me to sort of run along with them and then give them the old uh, wackadoo here and there and power attack from time to time but like I said it sort of didn't happen um, so this is where I sort of got to upgrade the um, the door so it's going to leave a bit more resistance before they sort of funnel in and that sort of happened it pretty much happened immediately and right away so like I said it is what it is and this was basically supposed to be in place here so I could just sort of melee the crap out of them while I'm sitting here and um, basically have a good old time that was the intent on doing all this with the base itself so um, look it stood up a little bit, but it wasn't really completely prepared. So for a day 14 um, horde, I think it did okay. Um, I think I pretty much got through a bit over halfway, I'd like to think, of the base, sorry, of the horde night just by using my club here. So I'm going to be confident when I come back to day 21, if I upgrade it again to the next um, uh, to the next stage of this base, then yes, I think I might have a better chance of surviving uh, just the way I am. My other problem is that I've left myself a bit of a boo-boo here. So I'm thinking maybe I might have to make myself a door here. So at least that way I can sort of open and close it. And if I, um, I'll leave it open at the beginning, but if time gets tough, then at least I've got some sort of contingency plan that I can sort of run back here, close the door. They're still wailing onto this. When they break through this, then they've got to deal with another wall and the door. And then that way I'm already out of the base and running for the hills. And that's basically where it's at. So I might even just quickly improve uh, the OG base over there. I do definitely need more bullets because I completely ran out. I was trying to sort of hold them off for as long as I can without the um, uh, utilizing the guns and my ammo and things like that, but it just wasn't to uh, wasn't meant to be, unfortunately. So what can you do? What can I say? The other thing I can say is so we're going to head over to back to my home base, um, which I'm considering moving. So I don't know if I want to keep this, but the other reason why that I'm going to think of keeping this base and probably fixing um, this up and making it a little bit more nicer and neat is purely because I've got a horde base and a horde base here in the close proximity and if I end up making something else maybe in this sort of um, blanket land there then you know I've still got the luxury of having everything close by so that's what I'm sort of thinking at the minute. But uh, what I wanted to show you guys is something, uh, a couple of things that I picked up in my travels. Um, here we go. So, I have the cement, schem uh, cement mixer schematic and the chemistry station schematic. Now, I have the ability to craft both um, workstations and I'm going to bang them in here somewhere and probably near my forge and at least this way I can get um, cement set, um, uh, set up as quick as possible and um, anything I need for, uh, chemistry related. While we're on the subject, what's the chemistry station requirements? I think I've actually got a beaker, a burning barrel. I don't know how to get one of those actually. Uh, burning barrel. Um, okay, well that's easy enough. So a bit of forge iron, a bit of wood, and I have myself a burning, uh, burning barrel. So that's, <coughs> excuse me, not a problem for the old chem station. Cooking pot, I need three. I think I've got enough cooking pots actually. Let's quickly uh, suss that out. No. Um, cooking pot yeah well I've got the substantial amount the beaker I have so I have got myself the ability to make myself a um, a working chem station and let's go ahead and check out the cement mixer and yeah 
I just need Forge Iron. I've got the springs, I've got the engine, I've got the mechanical parts, so I'll have those set up pretty much relatively soon, and we ha will have that ready to go in no time. The only problem is, I'm going to have to craft some more, uh, it's not craft, I'm going to have to mine for some more uh, iron in the interim, because uh, I've only got this amount of forged iron, unfortunately. And I don't have much sand, so I might have to go out into the desert and do some shoveling and getting some sand on deck. And then that way we can start making up some cement. Um, I do have a bit of cement over here. Not a lot, granted, but uh, something to sort of get us going. We'll make the concrete mix and, um, yeah, finally get that base upgraded. But that's pretty much it. We, yeah, look, again, survived the Horn 9. I did not die, so that was probably the biggest thing that I wanted to avoid, which I have. So I'm, I'm happy with the way that's happened. Um, unfortunately, the base itself wasn't going to stand in its present state. Maybe on a first day, well, sorry, first seven day horde night, it may have stood up to the, it may, could have stood up to the test of time, but with, um, 14, unfortunately, it just wasn't good enough for it, and I wasn't in the right, um, uh, health range to sort of sustain myself, uh, so that was the problem there, but, um, Rest assured, hopefully when day 21 rolls around, I will have everything ready to go and we can get this all um, looking a lot better. But um, look, I think I'm going to end it here for today. So I appreciate you guys stopping by as always. Uh, leave a like, comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this um, and how poor my time management skills was. Um, but also um, share the video. If you guys can do that for me, that would be the best way to help this channel move and progress. I really want to grow the 7 Days to Die uh, series. So if you guys can help me out with that, that would be really much appreciative. And if you guys are new to the channel, haven't seen this before, but you want to see more and stick around, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell. Alrighty guys, I'm out of here. Take it easy and I will catch you next time.